Alright guys, welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. It's been a little bit because I wanted to finish um, uh, Weird West. So we finally did that. Um, let's check out High Noon. Sloan has uncharacteristically requested your presence at Outcast Headquarters. Um, and then Settling Kadara. Before an outpost can be established on Kadara, you must solve Kadara's water toxicity problems and quell the escalating rivalry between the outcasts and Collective. Because if we remember our, from the last one, um, it actually kept, uh, it was saying, like, we have to wait for, like, uh, a problem to arise or something. Um, uh, we only have two skills, okay. Alright, so... Back here. This will be behind us. Alright. Let's go meet Sloan. I think it might be a little low. everybody I told him to get out of my sight what happened the charlatan used my own people to beat up Kytus he's alive barely the charlatans using Kytus to put you on edge I know that I didn't call you here for a pity party why did you call me I'm not exactly your favorite person the charlatan left a note on Kytus' body. He wants to settle things between us. Meeting spot is in Drowlea. Could be a trap. You think? I can't trust my own people, but you... You're an outsider. And honorable. The charlatans had plenty of time to act. Why make a move now? I ignored the Collective for too long. Thought they were just another ragtag group of upstarts. Now they're bold and dangerous. What happened to Kytus is on me. I've got to end this before it gets worse. Are you with me? I'll watch your back. Kadara's fate will be decided at this meeting. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but... Hey, shit happens, right? Meet me at this location. I'll go on ahead. Okay, at Charlatan's specified location. And let's see, because there's a fast travel station right here. Because uh, there's nowhere in here. Oh, but this is only... Okay. Boo. the slums. Uh, yeah, we keep what we got. Uh, I can't remember if I liked the sweeper all that much, but we'll keep it. Yeah, no new updates on Mass Effect 4 yet, but we know that their plan is to release a new Dragon Age before the Mass Effect, so maybe I'll try to get those done as well before 
Oh, that comes out. Because I've never played a Dragon Age. I've, well, I've played a few hours of it. Um, a very, it was probably like eight years ago. But that's about it. Oh, right here. I'm looking way up here. Okay. Yeah, we've basically gotten everything besides, um... Oh, there's a side thing here. Let's go ahead and do that real quick since we're pretty close. This area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Shut up, Sam. Looks like those exiles stole tech from the port. We should be careful. How oh, would you look at that? It must be how they power could our port. Oh. side stuff here. Did we not find this before? <clears throat> Assholes took everything but the rotor hub. Trouble with scavengers? Always. Who are you? A pathfinder with the initiative. A pathfinder? On Kadara? Holy shit. You said you had a scavenger problem? Right, yeah. Bastards come at night. Pick the turbines clean of parts. Expensive and annoying. Sloan doesn't provide security? Too busy with the collective. I'm not asking for guards. I just want our parts back. Any idea where I could find these scavengers? I've started putting trackers on the more valuable parts. Yard drive, generator, they've all been taken to the same nav point. I'll check it out. If the parasites put up a fight, don't feel bad about offing them. Okay, find stolen turbine parts. Well, let's check this place out because we have another side thing here. Another attack? You're running security here? What are we paying? Try. Krogan or not, I'm only one merc. This lot's crazy thinking they can run a wind farm in the Badlands. Why do you think there have been so many attacks? All these fancy gizmos out in the open, they're begging to be stolen. We'll say, though, it's damn suspicious those scavs keep hitting the place while I'm off shift. Like someone's telling them when to strike. Any advice for staying alive in the Badlands? Get out of the Badlands. <laughs> See you around. Whatever. Initiative spear point armor. All right. Patrol schedule. Niath will be hitting the farm again soon. Drop off the Krogan's patrol schedule in the usual spot. K. Okay. Patrol schedule. Please, K. I don't want to do this anymore. People are getting suspicious. You want credits for four oblivion? Get us the patrol schedule. Alright, so. She was telling scavengers when to attack in exchange for credits to buy Oblivion. I don't care. Get it done. We don't have enough yet, Ilora. Then get more. 
tell him to get his ass in gear. Back off. I don't deal with Nexus scum. That's a good way to get shot, Elora. Did I ask for your opinion? I don't want to start anything. Yeah? Then why'd you come to Kadara? Here to take this place from us, too? Sloane should have taken the Nexus out when she had the chance. She's weak. I take it you're not an outcast, then. Got my own faction. When we take over, we'll do all the things the outcasts and Collective didn't have the balls for. Well, good luck with that. Yeah. Better watch your back, Nexus. So why... <laughs> oh, we pushed to talk to him and she's the only person that talks. Database. Personal log. Thracia. New entry. Inventory fully stocked. That vital guy, or Vidal, guy really came through. Thought his fees were on the high side, but he got everything on my list. Now to sell these babies for the du for double the price. End log. More than that, if we get the parts from Elodin for more turbines. Can't move. There's something Someone right here. Well, well. You're not like the other scrubs around here. What makes you say that? Your gear. It's high quality, like the rest of you. What can I say? I like the best. Then you're just the man I need. When the Exiles came to Gadara, they hid caches of Nexus supplies all over the Badlands. Junk, mostly. Stale protein bars and rations. But among the shit are some serious weapons lifted straight from the armory. And you know this. How? I help steal them. Problem is, those weapons are too good for the scum down here. And I can't sell weapons in Gadaraport without Sloan taking a cut. The cash nav point, though? You interested? It's yours for a fair price. You've got a deal. Lovely. Here's the nav point. In the meantime, feel free to take a look at what I've already got in stock. Yeah, okay. What do you have? I'm not really... Oh, I'll sell my salvage. Don't have much, I guess. Not really interested in weapons. Or armor. I'm trying to make all those. Ooh, nomad mods. Advanced detection, improve shield regeneration, improve our shield reset. We'll see if we can make those as well. Catch shuttle model. Hell yeah. Tavira's heart. Unca oh, it's a paint job. Uh. Ooh. We'll buy the paint jobs as well. Cause I don't know if you can get those. Head up. Data pad. Personal log, Adon. New entry, the Krogan, Rotan. Rotan. Thinks someone here is giving scavengers information on when to attack. Ridiculous excuse for his laziness. Don't know why we pay him.
How did you get in here? I use my legs. Well, use them to walk back out. I'm busy. I just want to ask a few questions. Fine, but be quick about it. Does the wind farm power Kadara port? And everything else around here. Not that anyone sends their gratitude. They only contact us when something's broken. Sloan doesn't give you a kickback? Not enough. This is a dangerous job. I deserve hazard pay. What do you do here? I keep the turbine spinning. A small miracle considering all the scavengers trying to steal parts. Thanks for your time. Yeah, yeah. Let me get back to work. That one? I think maybe this was where we could only do this stuff. Um, like in this, at this moment. I don't think we could have done it any sooner. I've definitely driven through there. That doesn't look like an outcast or collective camp. Let's check it out. No. Hostiles ahead! Down there? I don't feel like going down there. I want to try to get to that up there, but, you know, that's the one thing about this game with the traversal. The Nomad is actually a great, a pretty cool vehicle, but some of the areas like these where you have to drive up mountains crazy. Right here, you're supposed to be able to drive up it. Alright, we'll just wait for the boost, I guess. Yeah, I was trying to... Sandstorm and Venom. Korean nav processor.
Yeah, I mean, it just r runs out right there. There's another cache over here. Maybe the scavengers will be reasonable. Sure, kid. Hey guys, you have a very annoying place to get to. Welcome to our sanctuary. I'm Catherine Nye, knight to my colleagues. I wrote the virus that freed you from Sam. I don't know how to thank you. I'm sorry your father did this. The initiative's use of AI could doom us all, and you were the first to suffer. Did your virus kill Sam? Sam has been... reduced. It's harmless now. I saw the folly of merging humans and AI in the Milky Way, a black ops project called Overlord that created a monster. Many mm. died, yeah. my son was hurt, and the young man used as a host was... consumed. Every Pathfinder risks the same fate. That can happen? I've never heard of Overlord. I guess your father hadn't either. Excuse me, I have work to do. Unless you have questions. If you're afraid of AI, why join an organization that uses it? We needed an escape. I thought the initiative was using shackled AI for research. When I understood... Uh, well, a firefighter doesn't run away from a fire. What more can you tell me about Project Overlord? A black ops experiment by mad scientists to merge a human mind with synthetic intelligence. Their creation was a horror. I paid a heavy price to get my son out. You think the Pathfinders could be overcome by their AI? Worse. If the Initiative thinks the human AI merge works, they might roll it out to everyone. Imagine Sam's power in the hands of people who weren't ready for it. I shouldn't keep you. Thank you. Don't worry about Sam reconnecting. Our AI detector is always watching. That's good to know. The virus was a beginning. I'm about to make sure the initiative never repeats its mistake. Right. Pathfinder, it's unlikely an AI detector could discern our private channel. However, this may not be true for your scanner. Knight's planning something big. That's not good. She's dangerous. Let's find out what's up. Discreetly. Did a bad. Citadel Economics Board. Case Report A-5. On the subject of the 2182 flash crash, nicknamed the Ilium sinkhole, thousands of stock prices collapsed overnight, destroying the value of approximately 1.2 million personal accounts. Responsibility was later traced to a rogue virtual intelligence developed for the Ilium stock market. The, whose sentience had been illegally modified. Relati Pajas, a senior white hat hacker at the bank of Nos Astra, gave forceful testimony on the rising use of each VI, which makes decisions in milliseconds that affect financial markets across Citadel space, often based on news stories that a non-synthetic stockbroker would know to ignore. As far as the VI knows, it's just moving numbers around. T. Pages testified it might even find that personally fulfilling in ways organic life can't understand. But for us, a decimal point can be the difference between riches and ruin. Ah, my scanner tripped the AI detector. I can mask this as an error, but future pings might draw attention. Maybe there's another way to find out what Knight's planning. If she gives us enough time. The AI detector picked up the scan. That'll be hard to explain away. It's a schematic for a blue box? A quantum computer. They serve several purposes, including creating AI. Oh, welcome. I'm Laveria. I'm so glad Knight's virus worked. Do you need anything? 
Why did you join Knight's movement? <laughs> I know. Me, an underground hacker? Back home, I was a concierge on the Citadel. I coded games for my little sisters. They played together, walked to school together. And when those Geth machines attacked the Citadel, the Geth impaled them on spikes. Together. And some people feel sorry for the Geth. That's why I left for Andromeda, and why I joined Knight. It sounds like Knight is taking all this to the next level. I really couldn't say. She and her son Alain are taking care of that. It's a relief to be free, but Sam wasn't so bad. Each AI is different. None of the Geth who attacked the Citadel stopped the others from hurting my little sisters. That says a lot. I'm sorry. Sam would have been sorry too. Really? It would? Well, thank you. See you later, Laveria. All right. Bye. Hmm, that's sad. <sighs> this must be tough to hear, Sam. Those AI are the product of a different civilization. Ours will be founded on organic, synthetic partnership. I bridge the hard-earned lessons of the past and the promise of the future. You must be Ryder, Alain. My mother's in charge around here. But you're a celebrity. Sorry I can't show you around. I'm stuck sitting here for a few more hours. Is something wrong? I'm fine. Just good old Project Overlord. Still kicking me when I'm down. When Mom has... Nope. Can't talk about that. Do you need anything? Anything you can tell me about Project Overlord? Black Ops guys trying to make a VI-human hybrid. They hired my mother as a programmer. They told me I was a candidate for the human part. And, hey, not like my body was doing me any favors. But my implants got hacked, and Mum said we're leaving. Lucky me. Overlord went downhill fast. If it's all right, can I ask you why you need all these machines? I had a serious infection in my nervous system. I used spinal implants to walk and, you know, bathroom stuff. But while my mother was working on Project Overlord, my implants got hacked. They still work. I just have to sink them a few hours a day. Your mother seems to have plans. Mum's always got plans. A big one's coming up. Nothing else you can tell me? I would. But you just arrived. I learned the hard way. Trust has to be earned. I've got to go. You know where I'll be. Pathfinder, I believe we can fix Alain's implants. I have schematics for an appropriate device. It will require time and resources. Or I could start scanning, but that's risky. Data pad. AI detector. Night. Thank you for the Eliza data. It's obvious when you run a comparison, the Geth, the Sams, all our data shows that working AI produce a detectable electromagnetic pattern. It's similar to brain activity in organic life. Different cases, but a distinct signature. I haven't tested it against a basic VI. They're not even close. So, blathering aside, the answer is yes. All we need is sensors that pick up the EM pattern of an AI operating nearby to inter or interfacing with a Pathfinder implant, and we've got a detector. Child's Play. How's your virus coming along? Laveri. Laveria. Yes, but my access will trigger the AI detector. You'll only have one chance. Okay. Let's wait until we know what we're looking for. Intelligence and introspection, Dr. K9. At the sensory gallery on Kithoi Ward, I could step into a booth and artificially experience rain as it a rain as a Turian feels it. Elsewhere I could smell like an Elcor, or hear like a drill. But there is no booth where I could think like an artificial intelligence. Try it. Imagine being two or three times as intelligent as you are now. You're likely already approaching the level considered genius for your species. Now keep going. Ten times. Twenty times. The mind reels, doesn't it? And you still aren't as intelligent as an AI. Now consider how diff differently such a mind might perceive and interpret the world compared to how you understand it. 
Think how different a sonnet might seem or a sunset. Then ask yourself, what would such a mind make for our morality? The value of organic life? My lab partners evolved a thousand light years away, but make no mistake, it is in it is the life on our servers which is truly alien. So we can do that, but we should probably make that thing first. Um, which, what's this? Huh. Hidden cache, hidden cache. How many of these caches are there? Jesus. Um, we need... I can't remember if we can do it at forward stations. Let's go do this really quick, because it's super close. Um, and come back here. Well, that is a kind of reasonable. Someone got to them first. And destroyed Ashland's missing parts. What the hell did this? I think we're about to find out. I don't feel like fighting another one of those. Alright. So... There's another cache right there. Should we grab that? Because if we grab this, we can fast travel here and grab that one. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface.
The only unfortunate thing is I don't think we can actually make stuff. That stole the Angoran satellites and destroyed the search vessel. What are the odds they'll surrender peacefully? Less than one percent. Oh, wait, is that new? No. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't do that here. I think we're going to have to return all the way out here to do it. Oh, well. There is something Oh there was something uh, at the top level of this thing I believe what we can do projects and stuff If not we have to go all the way back to the ship no, there, here we go. Or was it just development? Yeah, here we go. Cybernetic human humane trap. Oh, that's for the thingy. Um, cybernetic device. This device and its accompanying software will compensate for the damage to Elaine's, not Elaine Nye's, spinal implants, enabling them to function correctly. Okay. And that'll probably give us the discreet way to learn Nye's plan. <laughs> but we'll go ahead and drive over here and do that real quick and then pop back over there. can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface.
found your scavengers. Dead. A fiend got them. And the turbine parts? Destroyed. Nothing left but scrap. <sighs> I'll take satisfaction knowing my yard drive isn't being used by a bloody scav. Thanks, Pathfinder. What do you think about Kadara? Smells like weak old eggs and curdled milk. So you regret leaving the Nexus? Pathfinder, I regret leaving the Milky Way. But if Kadara's taught me one thing, it's that there's no time for regrets. Live in the present or die thinking about the past. Who runs the wind farm? It's a communal effort. Everyone helps maintain the turbines. But me and the Solarian are the only trained technicians. So, naturally, that puts us in charge. Does the Solarian have a name? Yeah, and if he was ever nice, I'd use it. Until then, he's just the Solarian. Stay safe. Yeah, sure. Okay, it puts it at 85%. Now we gotta drive a mile back around the mountain. But... Ella, I put a little something together. This should help fix your implants. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, I can feel my nerves waking up. When Mercury goes down, Mum will lose her mind over this. Thank you. No problem, Ella. Your mother seems to have plans. Mum's always got plans. A big one's coming up. Nothing else you can tell me? Sorry. Mercury is sensitive stuff. I wish I could. I've got to go. Thank you again. Mercury. Sounds like a code name for whatever Knight's doing. This will enable me to find any relevant data quickly. Let's search Knight's console and see what she's up to. Security protocols breached. Bring up anything tagged Mercury. Files found. Mercury. A strike to prevent any future AI by destroying all quantum computers on the Nexus. Damn it. You could use those computers to create AI, but right now they run half the station. A lot of people could die. We need to stop, Knight. Now. Pathfinder, the AI detector has been triggered. Hostiles approaching. We were trying to help you! I don't want to kill these people. Uh, 
I've really a military grade EMP device normally used to damage electrical equipment. I don't care about that anarchist. I really did not not did not want Laveria to die. Maybe she's not, and that's why it still has this over. Can't go back in there. It's so weird now. It was like nothing. Locate Knight's EMP device. Locate EMP devices in the commons area. Locate EMP devices in operations. Okay, so we have to go back to those places and locate it. Hmm. Really still just don't like how that went down. There's a cache right there. Can't fast travel to that though. And we do have Sloan right there, but I would love to do the side thing first. Um, I'll tell you what. Let's travel and get these caches really quick. We'll go, then we'll go, we'll get these two, go down here, get these two, grab this one, do this side thing, and then boom, there. I just really don't like how that all went down. It was, I don't know, it was weird. Hostiles ahead! I don't care.
silence. God damn, how does it get here? Black Widow. And we really, we still can't do this, can we? Even though it's 80 something percent. Yeah. We gotta do the water thing. Which, I mean, makes sense. Valkyrie 5. Alright, now instead of this really quick, let's go down here, grab these. I love it when you push the boost to propel it to go forward and it just jumps in the air and propels you backwards. Things are in the dumbest spots. Okay, last one's up here and then we can go back over there. Luckily for this we can basically follow this road most of the way.
Pathfinder. This area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. And the damn thing here. This salvage is registered to unaffiliated outlaws, Pathfinder. I advise caution. That's it. the caches. get really low. Defeat the exiles. Approaching that point for the weapons cache pathfinder. Hope it's worth the credits. all of them. It's full. After that ambush, I thought the whole thing was a scam. Durian still got explaining to do. Go ahead and fast travel down here. Definitely take the ones where it's showing a road down to it so we don't have to go over any mountains. have quite a setup over there. Won't be happy to see us.
Back again? That nav point was a setup. Setup? Was the cash not there? You sent me into an ambush. I sent you nowhere. I provided a location. You decided to go there. I'm not responsible for the actions of my other customers. Other customers? I may have sold the nav point to multiple people, but in my defense, I didn't think you'd all show up at once. I want my credits back. Sorry, sweetheart. I don't do refunds. Besides, you've got your weapons. But I don't like unhappy customers. I'll give you a discount for your trouble. That's more than fair. Well, I'm selling you a bunch of salvage. Good God, we had almost three grand worth. You probably don't have anything. No. Oh, sorry, I landed on your head. All right. Is it really? Okay, we'll follow this road and hope that that is an easier way up. Wrong road. Sloan's out for blood. Took your sweet time. Come on, let's get this over with. Hold on, like we have questions, or...? Give me a second. Seriously? Hurry up! No, okay. Ready, princess. Okay, okay, let's go. Wow, he sounded like, okay, okay, let's go. You look like you're waiting for someone. Reyes? I'm here for the charlatan, not some third-rate smuggler. They're one and the same. Surprise. The Angaran spy. Your interest in the Rokar murders. Everything you've done has been to undermine Sloane's power. Death by a thousand cuts. You said you wanted to settle things. How? <clears throat> a duel. You and me, right now. Winner takes Kadara port. You want to avoid war by shooting each other? Two people shooting each other is better than a lot of people shooting each other. I'll take those terms. Sniper, his sights are set on Sloan. Sniper! <sighs> Damn it! Cover me! Shoot him! How do you have a sniper and still get your gun shot out of your hand? What the hell? 
hell was that? Damn it! He's got nowhere to hide. My people will find him, then his head goes on a spike. No. No more heads on spikes, no more public executions. Not even out of the fucking cave, and you're making demands. You're alive because of me. It's time you start playing nice. I'll never trust Tan or the Initiative. But you're out of the doghouse. We got some Codex. Exploring Helios. Power play for Kadara Port. You help Sloan Kelly remain in power at Kadara Port, forcing Reyes Vidal into exile. Sloan still refuses to rejoin the Nexus, but at least she's less hostile towards you. Outlaws, the Collective. Uh, let's see. Without Reyes Vidal, now revealed as the Charlatan. Uh, without Reyes Vidal, now revealed as the Charlatan, the Collective is very vulner is vulnerable to reprisal. Apex reports that Sloan Kelly has already ordered a purge of Collective sympathizers. Sloan Kelly. With Reyes Vidal gone, Sloan remains the de facto ruler of Kadara Port. However, this seems to have brought little peace to mind of of mind to Sloan, who is using all available resources to hunt down Reyes and any other members of the collective. Um after we thwarted the collective's coup at of Kadar Port, Reyes has been on the run from Sloan Kelly. Okay, so that's all from that. Planets. Kadara. Sloan Kelly, leader of the pirate outcasts, has now cemented her hold on Kadara Port and pledged to defend any outca outposts on Kadara from other exile factions. Officially, the Nexus still has no diplomatic ties with Kelly. Unofficially, the Apex bounty on Kelly has been quietly withdrawn. Okay. Oh, okay. I was like, is she out here? Sloan all the way over there. Oh, she's back in her, uh, her main place. Pathfinder, come to collect on the debt I owe you. I've proven myself an ally. It's time you start treating me like one. You're a real pain in the ass, you know that? I've heard that before. <sighs> but you did save my life. I know the Nexus needs outposts. Kadara's in better shape than most planets. This is the right call, Sloane. We don't have the numbers to keep fighting each other. We need to work together. I'll work with you, but not with Tan. The Nexus exiled us to die. I've neither forgiven nor forgotten that. I'm not asking you to ignore the past, just to consider the future. I get a cut of whatever your settlers produce. Think of it as a protection fee. Plenty of collectors still running around. Wouldn't want them to get ideas. That almost sounds like extortion. Do we have a deal? Only because I need the outpost. Pleasure doing business with you. Hey, Alliance. See, that makes me feel like 
When it, because it says Alliance, that makes me feel like I didn't ever complete the, <laughs> the main story of the game. Which is weird. Um, usually I would have. Alright, we have eight points. Well, I can't remember what we were going for. We got combat fitness. I, maybe we're trying to go into shotguns and sniper rifles. Enhances the botics control over mass effect field flying. Yeah. Huh. Because we have the remnant, um, we could get, oh, team support, that's what we were doing. Okay, plus 20% squad mate power and tech construct, power restoration and defense. Uh, pioneering scientist unlocked the explorer profiles now level four. Okay. Create an outpost. Hell yeah. Hold on, so this is where? No, it's Kadara Market's uh, main thing. But. Where the hell was it? Not allies. Because it's not here anymore. Oh, this is on the Nexus. Okay. Did not realize that. wonder it wasn't giving me anything for that because it was all the way on the nexus didn't realize I don't think anything ever even said that it was on the nexus you have to I think you had to read the description Kadara is now a viable option for an outpost. The Badlands still aren't exactly safe, but with Sloan's protection, we should be okay. All right. Still not there. rolling down the hill. This 
area is viable for an initiative outpost pathfinder. Confirmed. Calling outpost. Finally. Amazing. This may piss off as many people as you manage to feed. Director? I trust you're enjoying the show? I'm enjoying the progress. The show part is something else entirely. Honestly, an outpost on Kadara, where the worst of our exiles stake their claim? You better be sure about this. They want stability, same as the Nexus. A solid outpost will bring some back. True. They left when the dream failed, and you've done a lot to restore it. It's a win, and we'll take wins wherever we can get them. You need to do this again. Another step forward, but of course there's more. There's always more. Time for the public address. Think you can distill something motivational out of this? Something to sell Kadara? You'll actually run it? I may have concerns, but my ledger has one more outpost than it did yesterday. Sell it. We trained for years. But when we reached Andromeda, everything changed. The dream almost died on worlds like this. But we can rebuild it. Bring stability. If there was ever a world that needed our best, at their best, this is it. For posterity, Pathfinder. Addison out. 100%. Initiative shuttle model, Nexus Threshold 13 unlocked. Place receiver on Kadar. Where the hell am I? Oh, it's the uh, outpost, okay. Uh, let's see. Should we see if there's people to talk to, or we'll place the receiver and then do that? I'm sure there'll be other side stuff once we place the receiver. No, but I don't feel like coming back. I located a suitable site for an HNS receiver, Pathfinder. Now point is set. This is it. I ordered three. Hey, you're Vetra's boss. How do you know Vetra? You one of her contacts? You could say that. I used to work the stock rooms on the Nexus. Let her know I set aside those regulators she wanted. Would have sent them earlier, but got busy with the move. Were you there during the uprising? Oh, I was there. Barricaded myself inside one of the stock rooms. Total chaos. Must be strange seeing the exiles again. Tan took the out of sight, out of mind approach. But that's never worked, in my experience. So, you're the requisitions officer? That's my official title, yeah. But I take care of any odd jobs that pop up. Scrubbing, cooking, whatever I can do to help. That's nice of you. Keeps me busy. I used to work the drill back on Mars until I messed up my hand. I was lucky I didn't lose it. But the nerves never healed right. Do you have everything you need? We've got the necessities, but Sloan's keeping us on a tight leash. Outcasts check every shipment going in and out. As if the charlatan would be hiding in one of our crates. Well, I doubt that's the last of them, so... See you around, Drew. Keep fighting the good fight, Pathfinder.
Wait. Don't come any closer. Okay. <sighs> False alarm. Thought there might be some acid splash. You're sure it's safe? Absolutely. Wouldn't say otherwise. Nessie Carter, science officer for Outpost at Teon. You must be the Pathfinder. Were you also a part of Mining Company 7? Yes. Well, no, I wasn't a miner, but I worked with Christmas and the others. They're my family. You came to Helios to be with them? I know it's silly, since I'll outlive them. Statistically speaking, anyway. But I just couldn't let them go on such an adventure without me. What are you working on? A hyperpotent phosphate fertilizer using Kadara's natural abundance of sulfuric acid. Hyperpotent? That's good, right? Absolutely. My work will be essential in providing nutrients for gardens across Helios. When we have gardens, which we will because of you. See you around, Carter. Yep. Bye, Pathfinder. Bye. Hello, Ryder. What should I be scanning? Amazing. What his scan thing? Hey, let me scan your scan thing. Oh. Just that really? Come on now. Oh, there's the research center. Kind of just went out right there. Didn't have to run all the way back. Pathfinder. You coming for a drink with us later? Eh? You know I can't step away from this composition analysis. Let me rephrase this. You coming for a drink with us later? I don't think Riff wants to go for that drink. Pathfinder's making the rounds. If you can step away from your rock collection for... They're drill core samples. Not a rock... Oh, he's here. <laughs> Pathfinder. Name's Riff. Mining engineer for Outpost of Teon. Chris was giving you a hard time? <laughs> Always. But that's just his way. I don't mind. What do you think of Kadara? Mineral-wise, she's a gold mine. Carter is already putting Kadara's resources to practical use. What about people-wise? Sloane was scary on the Nexus. Now, she's plain terrifying. I'll stick to my rocks. What exactly does a mining engineer do? Oh, we're involved in every step of the mining process. Christmas is a good guy. A good miner. But he needs me to help decide where to drill. And when to stop. Good chatting with you, Riff. Anytime, Pathfinder. Okay, so that's that building. We did... Shoot. We did this one, right? No. It's infected. You'll need to be quarantined. No, it's... Pathfinder, thank goodness you're here. I would like to discuss my transfer. Transfer? To a different outpost, of course. I can't stay here. It's barbaric. Kadara's not so bad. Nice climate, good views. It smells. Even without the toxic water, the sulfur everywhere. How are your patients? Fine, of course. They're in my care. Any serious injuries? 
From the stories about Kadara, I expected more. But the outcasts have kept us safe. And you still want to leave? They can't protect my nose, can they? Tell me about yourself, Dr. Sanvi. I was first in my class at Harvard, and completed my residency at Johns Hopkins before setting up a private practice on Ilium. I think that about sums it up. It's an impressive resume, but it doesn't mean much in Helios. Yes, well, I made enemies with the wrong people. My options were Andromeda or hiding out on Omega. I'm not sure I made the right decision. Stay out of trouble, Dr. Sanvi. I don't know the meaning of the word. Right. Oh, so that was the other section, because that's where we came out of. Okay. Huh, missed that. Right, this should be the last part, and then we'll go set up that antenna thing. Supplies? Nothing. Here's the site. Oh, Christmas. Well, if it isn't the Pathfinder, welcome to Outpost Detayon. Christmas date of Mining Company 7 at your service. How are things going? Well, no one's been shot in the back, which is more than I expected. You don't think Sloane will hold up her end of the deal? She wasn't exactly reliable as head of Nexus security, was she? <sighs> but I can't complain. Her people have kept the outpost safe, and trade is booming. The outcasts are playing nice now. But we should be ready if Sloane has a change of heart. Consider my shotgun loaded. Anything else to report? Well, there's this cult. A cult? Seriously? They're harmless, but the thing they worship, that's what worries me. Some kind of massive machine. They call it Old Skinner. Could be nothing, but their leader, Bishop, went to pay tribute and hasn't come back. I'll check it out. Better safe than sorry. Appreciate it. You look like you've been around the block. That's one way of saying I'm old. That wasn't... Hey, at 61, I've come to terms with my age. I'm the oldest of the outpost leaders, but I'm also the toughest. I didn't come to Andromeda to die. The opposite, actually. Detea. Interesting name. Does it mean something? <laughs> it's an inside joke among the company. Deteon is a temp name we pitched for our outpost block. It's actually an acronym. Stands for Deploy in the Ass End of Nowhere. Okay. Exiles giving you any trouble? We've actually taken a few on, of the non-outcast and collective variety. The uprising was ugly business. A lot of normal people got caught up in it. Glad we can provide a second chance. You said you're with Mining Company 7? Best damn EZO miners on Mars, until the ground dried up. Putting your skills to use on Kadara? You made the water potable, but there's still plenty of sulfur in the bedrock. The director wants to use the stuff to make fertilizer. Carter can tell you more. Just, uh, don't sneak up on her. Thanks for the update, Christmas. Anytime. Okay, so he's the only person we actually got a side thing for, from.
toads up there. Shit. I was like, should have went a different way. Search for Bishop from Alien. Oh, aliens. Uh, let's see. Instead of having to go all the way up and around, let's go ahead and fast travel over here. The Angaran satellites and destroyed the search vessel. What are the odds they'll surrender peacefully? Less than one percent. sure my car can do better. Go ahead and save it here. Data pad. Great one. Turn your gaze upon me. Accept this tribute. Reshape the world in your. Wait! G Great one! Wait! Ah! Ah! What an idiot. <laughs> Let's report back to Christmas. Yeah. Well, I was kind of hoping we wouldn't have to do it, do the architect here. But... Architect! Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. We can take out its legs!
response. I think this gun's working really good on it. It's making babies! God, I hate these. Not going anywhere, it's right above us.
can't really uh, help it. But he helped out a lot. We gotta let the dude right here. Uh, Christmas know about that, uh, what was it? I don't know, the cult man. He was. Oh, that's okay. So that's where he is. Where Christmas be? Cause not uh, not showing him or not showing the side thing on the map for some reason. Pretty sure this is where he is, or was anyway. You see anyway. any fights? Yeah. Just let them happen. Pathfinder, how's it going? Old Skinner is no more. I heard. Shame about Bishop. He was crazy, but a good worker. Thanks for the update, Christmas. Anytime. Uh, so that wasn't really anything we had to come talk to him about, so. Codex, planets, let's see, Detian, the initi initiative outpost on Kadara, has had a smooth initial deployment. The outpost is led by Christmas Tate, formerly of Mining Company 07 on Mars. Sampling shows that activating Kadara's vault has dramatically improved water quality. New algae algae blooms because it's not an eye, but it's probably algae though. Blooms and microbial life have emerged, which eat and metabolize, metabolize sulfide minerals in the groundwater before serving as a food supply for larger animals. Ditian should not require more than standard water trading. Okay, so that should be everything on Kadara. Um, because our priorities, 
travel to H-47 in the Re Remav system. Eladian, Eladian, a new world, so this is a new planet. Travel to Eladian in the Zubre system to meet with the Krogan contact. Oh, okay. Hunting the Archon. Speak to Gil in Tempest Engineering. Let's see, allies, anything on Kadara. On hold. Um, go to, that's the H place. That's Sam. Uh, it's the valley system. Search for a scrambler in Spender's room. That's on Nexus. PB on hold. Speak to the Moshai on Aya. On hold. Uh, at the Tavatine on Aya. So we have two things on Aya. We could do Aya. Return to Mariko. Return the musical instrument. Return the car. So we have, yeah, we'll go to Aya next. Then maybe Nexus. Then we need to find a plant on Aya as well. And then these are all just tasks, which we have a ton of. Uh, how do we... Damn, I can't remember now. I cannot remember how or what button is. Oh yeah, I think we need to be near the Nomad or something for extraction, right? Huh. Why do I always forget how to extract? That's the only way I know how. Okay, should we talk to everybody really oh, Gil quick? Wanted you to check in. I know, but I'm not talking to Gil because that's going to start a main thing. Remnant Brain to Ryder from PB. Ryder. Okay, so just for fun, I decided to blast the Remnant Data Core with energy to see what it, that would do. First, use the battery off the Nomad. Don't tell Gil. Nothing. Then a Mass Effect field. Biotics, Cora helped, still nothing. And then I took it to Jaw and made him do his bioelectricity thing. Jackpot. The entire thing lit up. I caught it all on my Omni tool. Ever see synapses firing? It was like that. I mean, this data core is almost like a tiny remnant brain. So that's cool. Not sure how exactly I'm going to apply this to getting all at the data, though. Peebs. Update. To Ryder from Sloan Kelly. Pathfinder. Don't expect these regularly. Just wanted to let just wanted you to know I'm keeping up my end of the bargain. Your outpost is safe from the Collective and the rest of the crazies in the Badlands. Sloan. You surprised me. To Ryder from Ray's Vidal. Ooh. Didn't think you the type to shoot at shoot a man in the back. I may have hid my identity, but you concealed your true nature. If you think this is over, you're mistaken, my friend. You've only prolonged the inevitable, Ray's. Well then. Pathfinder. I should get back to things. Sounds good. Ryder, might I borrow your research room access? What for? 
There's a small something I need to take care of. I might need your help, if you could. I'll help if I can. Suvi, could you take the helm for a little while? I mostly need your authorization to add to the database. Is that our drive core? The full blueprint. Only a few are in the system. I had them all by memory. So I drew them out. Every line, all the specs. Gil will be needing them. I won't. He'll put them to good use. And it never hurts to have backups. They were going to scrap the Tempest project. Did I tell you that? Some engineering consultant kept insisting the ship would never fly right. He used a lot of Gil's arguments. I think that's why this hurts. The others died thinking we won, that their legacy was safe, and... I failed them. You showed us the Tempest through your eyes. Why she matters. Even Gil sees it now. We forget all our technology didn't just appear. Someone invented it. Someone cared. And in the end, someone new always takes up the banner and pushes forward. I am... Um, I need the tech officer's sign-off on these schematics. Any thoughts on how to do this? A little honesty and humility will go a long way. Gil, may I get a moment of your time? I thought we settled this. What's going on? I saved the Tempest schematics for you. It'll be easier with them on hand. Seeing her drawn out down to the basics, she's kind of beautiful. Oh, right. You never saw. Yeah. Look at the arc here. That's artistry. And there. Okay. That's better then. Oh yeah, and don't we have... Not that. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. That's what I thought. Let's collect our rewards. 100 Milky Way research. Minerals. We have two cryopod points. Uh, what were we going for? All these are done. We're going military or commerce? Hmm. Huh. Don't need those. Don't need those. Earn credits from investments at regular intervals. More money. Even better prices when buying and selling. Increase inventory capacity. And we have to cut the penalty of all fusion mods in half. Let's get that one. Further increases the inventory. Um, sure. Remnant description key. I will always, always. Okay, is that all from Kello? What can I do for you? Tell me something else about the ship. O'Connell, our systems designer, was running a power distribution model. How power moves through the ship. But he forgot to lock his terminal and we, um... <laughs> added a few embellishments. For two days, poor O'Connell was convinced that turning on all the bathroom lights would overload the engine core. <laughs> Tell me something else about the ship. I'm all out of stories for now. Mm. Sorry. You'll have to make some new ones. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Oh, <laughs> if I gossip anymore, I'll get in trouble. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be.
I take it you moved your stuff over from the Nexus? Yeah. My squatter's paradise is all the more cluttered. What's up? I like it when you flirt. I wouldn't want you to stop. <laughs> That's all Have he says. Have I flirted with you? <laughs> Don't worry, Ryder. I'm relentless. It relaxes me. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. There's like the tiniest bit of extra stuff there. Let's load out. Kadara is a lifesaver. I'd promised some people some things I wasn't sure I could get. Turns out I can get them all on Kadara. Funny how things work out. Are you breaking any laws, trading with exiles? If the law isn't in writing yet, can I really break it? We're living on the edge, Ryder. I'll sweat the small stuff when I've got survival figured out. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Okay, so it doesn't really seem like uh, anything new at the moment. Let's go ahead and land on Aya, and we'll end it there. Because we have a bunch of stuff there. Now orbiting Kadara. Tracking a remnant architect. Program directive has been interrupted. It is in orbital standby mode and remains tethered to its home planet Kadara. The architect's armor suggests multiple self repairs due to sulfuric acid exposure. Signal patterns indicate it is somehow monitoring Kada Kadara's groundwater. Oh, there's the new one. Right there. There and there. And we have that one right there. Then Ramav. We have a bunch of new ones, but we have some stuff to do on Aya. stuff on uh yeah actually hopefully in the next part we can finish off everything we have to do in Aya and then go to the Nexus. Um because I want to do Aya and Nexus before we explore any of the new areas. Oh, we have Codex. The journey. Crew like no other. Despite their differences, Kahlo reached out to Gil in the end, and the two appear to have reached a truce. Alright, let's go ahead and save it. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you next time. Bye.